Hi guys, happy Sunday. So today I'm gonna share a review of Bath & Body Works Merry Mistletoe. This is a very different type of fragrance for me. Most of you that watch my videos know that I tend to prefer more gourmand or bakery type scents and this is definitely not one of those. This is very fresh, it's very festive, it's definitely very aptly named. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the fragrance description first and then tell you what I get from it according to my nose. And then I'll talk about the performance. So, the description reads, frozen cranberries, sparkling pear, icy peppermint, and balsam branches. So, this is definitely a very unique scent. And the reason that I like it um, I think it's because it pairs really well with my Scentsy Cranberry uh, Garland melt that I've been really loving this time of year. I think the two are a great combination together. This isn't a dupe for that and, you know, vice versa. They, they do have some subtle differences, but they're just really, really nice together. They both share that cranberry and, um, like, Christmas tree type note. So in this candle... I do get a fair amount of that fresh, tart cranberry base. It's not very sweet at all. This is not a sweet candle. This is, I would consider this just a very fresh holiday type fragrance. So you get that fresh, tart cranberry note. You definitely get the balsam note. I think that that is very strong and noticeable. I really don't get anything remotely peppermint in any kind of way. I would say I get more of a almost slightly eucalyptus type of scent, um, but not peppermint. And eucalyptus and peppermint are totally different, but in terms of like, I think the freshness that I'm getting to me reminds me a lot more of fresh, um, uh, eucalyptus, you know, like when you just, when you buy it fresh, like at the flower market, like that's what it kind of, what this brings out or what I get out of this candle when it's burning. And then the pear, I, I get no pear. Like there's, there's no other fruit <laughs> other than the cranberry to my nose. So just mostly it is a beautiful mix of that balsam and fresh tart cranberry. It's so nice, you guys. It is a candle that I think you can definitely burn when you are having guests over because it's not overly strong. So in terms of strength of the candle, I would put it right at around a seven and a half, not quite an eight. Um, I mean, it's 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 strong. It's it's not something that you are going to be, you know, sniffing around the air trying to figure out like where's that smell coming from. Like you're gonna walk in, you're gonna be like, oh, that's a delicious candle that you're burning. But um, the overall throw of it is really nice though. It That I would put at a solid eight. So I can smell this throughout the vast majority of my home. It even starts to go up the stairs into the second floor of our house. And typically with the airflow that we have, that is hard for a candle to do. But this one definitely achieves that very easily. So I've had really good luck with this. In terms of burn, so far it's doing great. I will say the wicks get kind of the bigger mushroom tops and I feel like I can't have this lit quite as long um, because there is some smoking that starts to happen or some sooting that starts to happen when those mushroom tops get really big. So I will typically have this lit for about three hours before I blow it out. Most of my other Bath & Body Works candles, I can go four to five hours. I know you're not supposed to, I'm, I'm aware, but I can usually get away with that. With this, I cannot. I definitely have to blow it out and I have to trim those wicks. They haven't like sparked or like snapped off or anything, but um, the flames are definitely very tall. You can see them kind of dancing there. Um, they're they're tall flames. They are the skinnier wicks that get the bigger mushroom heads on them. So this burns very hot and it burns very quickly. This one pulls out. I mean, it seems like four minutes after I light it, it's completely pulled out. Like 
definitely under five minutes I get a full pool on this so it's crazy fast um I I think in terms of like can I burn this the whole way down I probably can uh the creamy nutmeg I did end up putting into my candle crock after just about the halfway point but that was more of like just to make it last longer so um, but this one, I think I'll burn the whole way through. I did buy one backup of this just in case I go through it before Christmas this coming weekend. But if I if I still have this one left, I'll just save the other one for next year. I am thinking about grabbing just a couple more of these just to have on hand because I know it's not something that is frequently released. But it's, it's just really nice, you guys. I think this is one worth checking out if there's a candle sale going on. The packaging, by the way, I'm a big fan of. It has this kind of paisley type of print and, you know, the label is obviously predominant in the front. If you want to peel the label off, you'll end up peeling that whole paisley print off because it's all one thing. I think I mentioned that in the Creamy Nutmeg yesterday. So, um, very pretty jar. I think it's beautiful for this time of year and I think it's worth checking out. So let me know what your thoughts are of Mary Mistletoe down below and um, yeah I look forward to hearing your guys' feedback about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.